Now let's do the same for Phoenix contact. Let's find some terminals over here. Order number. Let's copy and go to Google. Fingris contact D plan, data manager. So let's paste our part number. So you also get the 3D data, which is a new feature. You could now add as many entries as you want. Just make sure to type them in the next line. Let's take another one. Let's say this one. Copy over here and then once again here. So in this case, it's not going to be an EDZ file. It's going to be a zip file, which is going to have all the data you would need to efficiently work with Phoenix contact products in ePlan. So the XML format, which means that this is the format you would import to a parts database, the part numbers, and then photos and the macros. Let's now generate ePlan file for these two entries. Commercial data, 2D, 3D, connection, and you see over here what you get. And this is the file and OK. Let's now go. Let's first extract. This is what you get, the XML file for these two entries for the parts database and then the macros. 2D macro, 3D, 2D, 3D. 2D for the 2D panel layout and 3D for the 3D panel layout for ePlan Pro panel. You get also the images over here. Now to integrate these files into your ePlan, the first thing would be to import your XML files. So XML and then locate that one over here. This would be this one, the XML, open, and then update and add new ones, that's fine. These two. And now, since we made some changes with the part database, we could synchronize the data, the current project. We don't need to do that since we haven't done much. And let's go to this. Let's copy this one, go to ePlan data and then to macros, to your company code and then you already have this from Phoenix contact and then we do just paste over here and say you want to merge, yes. These are now here and we will do the same thing for the images. Copy this data and then images, ePlan and then paste over here and merge and that's it. Utilities, parts and management and let's see for this particular one if you have now the macros, the graphical macro. It's over here. These two. And also for the macro work here. It's this one. So since we have the right references to the folders that means that we successfully integrated those files 
from Phoenix contact to our ePlan platform. So that's it. How to import the Siemens files, ePlan files, as how to import the Phoenix contact files so that you can successfully follow the course ahead of you.